Hi guys! Evgenia Medvedeva is a Russian figure skater, Olympic medalist, one of the trendsetters of modern figure skating, a pupil of Eteri Tutberidze. The young athlete persistently conquers pedestals, snatching victories one after another in different shows. She skates with Danya Malokin and loves Asian cuisine. But before we start, subscribe to our channel, put a like and post the video in social networks. Next, we will tell you how Evgenia Medvedeva lives, biography and interesting facts. Yevgenia Medvedeva was born on November 19, 1999 in Moscow in a Russian-Armenian family. The father is Armin Babasyan, an Armenian. Mom, Russian, but she constantly remains in the shadows, does not give interviews and the public for some reason is not known. Eugenia carries the maiden name of her grandmother. In the past, Eugenia's mom was engaged in figure skating. However, according to Eugenia herself, she was given to figure skating not because her mom skated, although this also played a role, but to improve her figure. True, the shoulder blades still stick out, but I think that figure skating externally ennobled me, said the athlete. She started skating at the age of three and a half. At first, she practiced with Lyubov Yakovleva in CSKA, and when she retired in 2006, she began to train in Elena Selivanova's group. In 2007, Evgenia's parents decided to transfer her to Eteri Tutberitz's group. As the athlete said, at the age of nine, she already had a clear idea that Figure skating is my work, my career, and my life. At the same time, she was aware that it requires effort and self-discipline. You just have to learn to overcome yourself and the difficulties. Until the age of 10, although I was busy with figure skating from morning to evening, I wanted to play, run, distract myself. And after 10, there was a turning point. I already clearly knew what I was working for, why I was doing it, what I needed to do to achieve results, she shared. And since then, Eugenia has been fully focused on sports. She noted that sport gave me character, the ability to set goals and achieve them by all available means. Since 2011, Evgenia has been a member of the Russian national team. In the 2013-2014 season, she reached the age at which the Figure Skating Federation allows athletes to participate in international competitions among juniors and made her debut at the Junior Grand Prix stage in Latvia, which she won. This was followed by a stage in Poland, which Evgenia also won. In the Junior Grand Prix final held in Japan, the athlete won bronze, losing only to her compatriots, Maria Sotskova and Serafima Sakanovich. At the 2014 Russian Championships, Evgenia Medvedeva took seventh place among adults and fourth place among juniors. In early March 2014, she finished second in the final of the Adult Russian Figure Skating Cup, trailing only Anna Pogorelaya. She went to the World Junior Championships in place of the injured Sotskova and won the bronze medal losing to fellow Russians Elena Radionova and Serafima Sakanovich. In the 2014-2015 season, she won two rounds of the Junior Grand Prix, which ensured her participation in the Grand Prix Finals. And in mid-August, she won in Courchevel with a personal record in the free program. In the Junior Grand Prix Final in Barcelona, she was first, winning both programs. At the 2015 Russian Championships, she won a bronze medal for the first time. And at the Russian Junior Championships, she finished in first place, which allowed her to qualify for her second World Junior Championships in Tallinn, where she managed to take the gold medal in a difficult struggle. In October 2015, Evgenia started performing among adult figure skaters. She started at the Andrej Napela Memorial and won this start. Three weeks later, she performed in Milwaukee at the Grand Prix Skate America Series. In a difficult struggle, the skater managed to win first place. At the next stage in Russia, her performance was also successful. She finished second. As a result of her performances at the Grand Prix stages, Evgenia reached the Grand Prix final in Barcelona, where she won the short program competition on December 11th, ahead of Russia's Radionova and Japan's Mawasada. In the free program, Evgenia scored the third highest sum of points in the history of the new judging system, i.e. since 2003, which allowed her to win the Grand Prix final for the first time in her career. Thus, she improved all her achievements. At the 2016 Russian Championships, she won the gold medal for the first time in a difficult competition. At the European Championships 2016, she took first place. At the World Championships in Boston in the free program, she set a new world record, 150-10. Medvedeva became the third Russian singles player after Irina Slutskaya and Elizaveta Tuktamysheva to win all the major starts of the season. Grand Prix Final, European Championships and World Championships. Medvedeva also became the first singles player in the world to win the Adult World Championships the following year after winning the Junior World Championships. 
To achieve such high results, Medvedeva had to give up school and study with teachers individually. From April 22nd to 24, the Team Challenge Cup 2016 Championship took place. Performing in the USA for Team Europe, she improved her previous achievement in the short program. And in the free skate, she even set an unofficial world record of 151.55 points. And in the free and short skate, she scored 229 to 11 points, which was also an unofficial world record. After the result of figure skater Kim Young Ah, 228.56 points. The Russian figure skater started the new season in late October, where she competed at the Grand Prix stage in Mississauga, Canada's Fed Cup, and took first place, while improving her previous achievement in the short program. In mid November 2016, the Russian figure skater competed at the Grand Prix stage in Paris, where she finished in first place at the Trophée de France tournament and improved her short program performance. This allowed her to confidently enter the Grand Prix final in Marseille, where Eugenia set a world record in the short program in terms of total points. Thus, she became a record holder in both programs. Based on the results of the free program, Evgenia Medvedeva became a two-time winner of the Grand Prix finals. In December 2016 in Chelyabinsk, she became a two-time champion of Russia. The athlete again showed a high result, scoring better than the world record set by her. But at the international level, the results of national competitions are not taken into account. Medvedeva also performed a cascade of three triple jumps, which, according to the athlete, allowed her to step forward. At the 2017 European Championships, Evgenia won the gold medal again, becoming a two-time European champion. At the same time, she again broke the world record, set by herself, in the free program and also set a new world record for the sum of points in two programs, previously held by Korean Kim Young-A. At the World Championships in Helsinki, she won with confidence, becoming a two-time world champion. In the short program, she scored 79-1 points, missing only 0-2 points to her own world record. And in the free program, she scored an unprecedented 154-40 points, more than three more points to immediately update the world record in the free program and the total points. At the 2017 World Team Championships in Tokyo, Eugenia again broke all records for points, first in the short program, then in the free program, and in the total points. In 2018, at the European Championships held in Moscow, she took second place behind Alina Zagatova. At the 2018 Olympic Games, she became a silver medalist in the team competition. In the short program of the Olympics in Pyeongchang, she again lost to Alina Zagatova almost one and a half points. In the free skating program, both athletes showed the same result, 156.65 points. Thus, Zagatova became the champion of the Olympics 2018, and Medvedeva took second place. Until April 2018, she played for the Sambo 70 Sports and Education Center of Moscom Sport and trained at the Kristalny Ice Palace. In April 2018, Medvedeva decided to leave Eteri Tutberitsi and train under Canadian Brian Orser, the 1987 world champion and two-time Olympic silver medalist. There were also rumors that she would compete for another country. Armenia was named as an option. Her former coach Eteri Tutberidze explained that the reason for Medvedeva's decision was Zagatova's loss at the Olympics. When she left the Olympic ice, she threw a childish phrase, Couldn't you keep Alina in juniors for another year? I said, Zhenya, what are you doing? Everyone should have an equal chance. It should be just faith in the coach, daily faith in the result, not some conditions. Later, Evgenia admitted in an interview that leaving Ateri was the most difficult decision in her life. But time put everything in its place, and in 2020, Eugenia returned to Ateri again. According to the athlete, she dreams of learning to become a makeup artist. She believes that she has an aptitude for this business. Before the start, she always puts on her own makeup, and she is very good at it. Then, in early 2021, the Channel One Cup, a commercial figure skating tournament organized by the Russian Figure Skating Federation and Channel One, took place. The competition took place from February 5th to 7 in Moscow at the Megasport Sports Palace. The cup included two stages with separate scoring, a jumping tournament and team competitions. The jumping tournament was held on the first day of the competition. Two teams of four participants competed in it, women against men. At the end of the tournament, teams were formed for the next two days of competition, Red Machine and Time of the First. Team captains, Alina Zagatova and Evgenia Medvedeva, took turns inviting skaters to join their teams. In team competitions, the invited skaters competed in the short, free skating programs of men's, women's singles, pairs, figure skating, and ice dancing. Their results were summed up for team points. The best team was determined by the total sum of points. 
The jumping tournament was judged according to the old judging system 6.0 and the team competitions according to the current system of the Figure Skating Federation. The total prize fund of the cup amounted to 10 million rubles or $135,000, of which 1 million rubles or $13,000, the prize fund of the jumping tournament. Later, Evgenia talked about her prospects of competing in pair skating. Pair skating, I, of course, fell in love. I have always been lucky with partners, only this year it turned out to skate in pairs. Sasha Enbert taught me everything. I'm madly grateful to him. There is also a project called Ice Age going on at the moment where I skate with Danja Milokin. It's all invaluable experience, but I don't think I'm ready to compete in pairs skating at such a high level. Danny Milokin and Evgenia Medvedeva's debut as a pair on the show Ice Age didn't turn out so well. After the young blogger dropped his petite partner, it seemed that his days in the project were already numbered, and the figure skater herself could hold a bitter grudge against Danya, but fortunately, the guys managed not only to work within the show, but also to become very close friends. Also, Danya said that he feels such sympathy not only for one Eugenia, however, saying these words, the blogger could not hold back a cute blush. That's when the audience guessed, Malokin definitely considers his partner incredibly attractive, but has not yet decided whether he should be persistent in this relationship. And in May 2023, the figure skater said that she quit her studies at Moscow State University. According to her, this forced decision she took because of disagreements with the leadership of the educational institution. It turned out that the university did not welcome the active media life of the student. However, the next day, a representative of MSU commented on the situation, noting, Eugenia's studies were stopped because of frequent absences due to high media load. In September, Evgenia launched a show, No Comments, on her own YouTube channel. In it, the figure skater interviews famous personalities. One of the main features of the project is Medvedeva, reading out messages that people leave on the pages of the star guest in social networks and under videos with his participation. Now about Evgenia's personal. There are a lot of rumors that the girl met with the musician Christian Kostov. He became the youngest participant of Eurovision 2017 and took second place. Face-to-face -face acquaintance of Medvedeva and Kostov took place on television, where they discussed the results of Eurovision 2018. Neither the singer nor the athlete was given a word to say, so Evgenia and Christian had to entertain themselves. After short conversations during commercial breaks, it became clear that they were on the same wave. And at the end of the show, Medvedeva and Kostov exchanged numbers. Before appearing on television, the athlete and the singer knew nothing about each other. And after six months, it was already difficult to imagine them alone. So they became friends. For two hours, we sat next to each other, but we were not allowed to say a word. We had no idea about each other before, despite the fact that after the Olympics it was and on TV, the balaganza began. Medvedeva passes or does not pass, and there was a lot of talk about Eurovision on TV, but we hadn't heard of each other at all, Medvedeva said. In May 2022 again talked about Evgenia's affair with Kostov. The media wrote, allegedly the couple vacationed together in Bulgaria. However, already in the winter, there were rumors about Medvedeva's new relationship with her colleague, figure skater Dmitry Chigiryov. The couple was seen together in Moscow, at soccer, at ice shows, and in the summer of 2023, they went on vacation to the Maldives. Evgenia published in social networks a romantic video from the vacation, showing the boyfriend for the first time. In the video, Chigiryov hugged his beloved and danced with her to the composition Cracks by the group Bureau. Only in the fall of 2023, Medvedeva confirmed the existence of an affair with Dmitri, coming to one of the television shows. Eugenia is adored in Japan, and she is also a fan of everything Japanese, literature, fashion, and anime. For example, for one of her showcase performances, Evgenia chose a song from the cartoon Sailor Moon and once surprised her colleague Moa Asad by reciting a poem in Japanese. In her Instagram, you can often see drawings from fans from the land of the rising sun. Evgenia Medvedeva spends a lot of time on social media, Instagram and Twitter, now probably also TikTok. She loves the works of Arthur Conan Doyle and the British series about Sherlock Holmes with Benedict Cumberbatch and Martin Freeman. At home, Eugenia has a French bulldog named Jerry. The sportswoman watches her diet, but she can't deny herself sushi, marmalade, and fruit. Eugenia's favorite dish is Thai soup tom yum. Among the figure skater's favorite performers are Michael Jackson, Metallica, Bon Jovi, and Scorpions. On the wave of passion for rock music, she bought a guitar, although she has very little time to study it. Guys, if you liked our video but you haven't subscribed to us yet, subscribe right now and post the video in social networks. There will be a lot of interesting things in the next episodes. See you soon. Bye.